today. We remember that at Cana and Galilee, our Lord Jesus Christ made the wedding feast a sign of God's reign of love, and that their love may be a blessing to all whom they encounter. Turn around and look. All of these people just said they're going to help you. I have something in my pocket right here that I know only four people in this room have ever seen. But when they find it, they will keep it forever. And most people, when they find it, will lock it away in a hermetically sealed box so that the wind and the rain and anything can't get to it. So it stays exactly the way that it is when you find it. What is it? It's a pear. It's a pear. What color is it? Have you ever seen a blue pear before? No, because they're rare. They're hard to find. you got to look high and low to find them. It's something that's so special and so unique that everyone wants to have. Love does not make a marriage. Marriage makes love. Love can grow old, especially when trials come, but within the framework of marriage to support it, it can grow and deepen through the years into something rare and special, a God-created companionship and partnership that will alleviate the inherent loneliness within us all. It takes commitment to make a marriage. Stephanie and Neil repeat after me. Today, Today as I marry, as I marry your mother or father, your mother, I promise you, I promise you that I'll always, that I'll always shower, you with love, shower you with love, take care of you, take care of you, and do my very best for you. And do my very best for you. We praise you, O oh God, for the joy that Stephanie and Neil have found in each other, and we pray that their love and faithfulness may reflect your gracious love and enrich our common life. Amen.